So you're looking to streamline your Google Ads reporting, you're trying to make it simple, easy to read, time efficient, so you don't have to be plugging numbers in every single day or every single month, however often you're doing the reporting, and you're looking to make your life a whole bunch simpler. Well, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through four ways of actually doing reporting. And the first two are going to be suggestions on what not to do, the second two are going to be suggestions on what to do. So I've seen multiple variations of things people do that I would recommend against. So that's going to be the first two ways. I just wanted to make you aware of them if you weren't already. Uh, and then the second two are going to be essentially what we do and what you should look for in actual reporting, because I think the second two are just awesome. And I think they provide a lot of value and they make your life a whole bunch simpler. Now I did want to discuss what you should look at when it comes to reporting and presenting. Normally, you're going to be doing these reports for some type of client. So normally clients don't have that great of understanding when it comes to Google Ads metrics, there are a lot of metrics inside Google Ads. So it is important to keep everything simple. And we don't want to overcomplicate we don't want to give them a gazillion different statistics that don't mean anything. So we really have to look for a report that highlights the most important important factors. Normally, that's cost, cost per conversion, total clicks, very basic stuff, very important stuff that we need to get the message across of this is how our account performed without overwhelming the actual client. Uh, the next thing is it needs to be easy to read on the eyes. We don't want a, you know, black and white report that is like just numbers galore and just a spreadsheet that's too complicated. It's not fun to read and it overwhelms a lot of people. So we should stay away from that. We should look for colors that are easy on the eyes, not super overly colorful where it's like 37 different colors you generally want to stick with two to three colors the total uh, and not go over that the third thing we should look at when it comes to reporting is quickness and the ability to literally create the report and send it off we don't have to think too much about it we don't have a super complicated integration system we don't have to manually take numbers and put them to a new report that just takes too much time and it makes your life too difficult so now let's get on to the different ways of actually reporting and the first way is the google ads reports and this is actually found inside Google, it's very simple. It's at the very top on your toolbar here. And all you'd have to do is click on that and then go in and create a report. Now, I really do not like the Google Ads report system. I think it is ugly. I think it is complicated. And I think it takes way too much time. Now, that being said, it is already integrated with Google Ads. So you can make the case that, hey, I don't have to go ahead and integrate all of this. Sure, that's a, a case you could make, but I think it is very, very complicated for a lot of people. I think it's ugly. I don't think most clients want to look at this. It's not super colorful uh, and it's not easy on the eyes. So that's something I would avoid. I've seen a lot of people recommend this tool. I don't know why they would recommend it. I know it is free, uh, but I think there's a lot better uh, tools out there, especially in the fourth portion of this video, which I'm going to show you in a second. I think there's just much better tools out there for free, make your life a whole bunch easier, and it will allow you to make a much better a report compared to what's already on the Google Ads reporting system. I, I really just don't like this tool at all. And I would say to you and recommend to you stay away from it. It's not great. The next tool we could use is something like Canva or even Excel spreadsheet for that matter. Uh, Canva is a cool reporting tool in the sense that it allows you to make free reports. And they're really nice looking, you can literally just copy and paste all of the information into this. And I would really prefer this over the actual Google Ads reporting tool. Yeah, you actually have to copy and paste the information over from Google Ads because there's no integration feature. But it is much better and much easier to read and you could just customize the metrics very simply. If you're only doing one report a month, I think this would be fine. It's completely free. And uh, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Canva, I would say is a better method than the actual Google Ads report, but it isn't perfect because you still have to actually copy and paste all those numbers over. So I would say stay away from this. Same with Excel spreadsheet. I've seen a lot of people manually go in and create reports. It just takes too much time and your time is better spent elsewhere especially with the upcoming tools I'm about to show you. Now, the third way we can actually present our reports to clients and create reports is using a tool called Swidu. Now, this is going to be the paid version. And the, the next tool I'm going to show you is completely free. Um, but this is going to be paid and it's $49 a month. Uh, but it creates amazing reports. They're absolutely beautiful. And I really, really do like this re reporting tool. It is by far the cheapest out there that I could find. It allows you to integrate Google ads, it allows you to integrate call rail or or whatever to other tools you're using analytics, it, it's really awesome. And it allows you to plug and play super simple to read super detailed. And I really can't recommend this tool enough. It is awesome. But that being said, 
One tool that is even better, in my opinion, is the Google Ads Looker Studio. Now, like I said before, Swidu is a paid tool that you have to pay for every single month. The Google Ads Looker Studio, it used to be known as the Data Studio, um, is completely free and it automatically integrates into your Google Ads account. So it automatically updates all your information. So it's very, very user friendly. Uh, it takes about, I don't know, two minutes to set up. It's super simple. There's a whole bunch of free reports on here that you could look at. They're super detailed. One thing I would recommend uh, when it comes to the Google Ads Looker Studio is if you pick a templated version of this, I would go in and make it a little simpler, maybe put a cover page on it and a contact us page at the end of it, just so it's a little easier to read for your client. There's a lot of numbers here, but if you take your time in and actually go in and alter some of these numbers and make it a little simpler, make it a little bit more easy on the eyes, you know, reduce the amount of colors, uh, this is a real winner. And I really, really love this Looker Studio. This is what we use for our clients. It's super simple. You can send this out on a monthly basis as a PDF, you could just give your client the actual link and they can look in this anytime they want it automatically updates. It's absolutely a phenomenal resource. Now just so you guys know, we did release our own report. So this is the actual report we use for clients. If you want to get yourself a copy, the link is down below. Uh, it's an awesome report. It's super simple, easy to read. I'll show it up on screen here. And it is by far the easiest report. I completely designed this myself. It, the first page is super simple. It goes over the most important metrics in your account, at least in the eyes of the client because this stuff needs to be simple it's easy to read it's blue it's white uh very easy very calming on the eyes the second page goes into the actual conversion details so what types of conversions are we getting are we getting email leads are we getting phone call leads i believe this was from an e-commerce account because google ads sample data in here but it should come up with where all your actual conversions are coming from it shows you the age of your actual customers it shows you all the stuff that most clients actually care about and where their leads are coming from the fourth page here is the actual breakdown of all your campaigns ad groups and keywords most people aren't going to look at this but it's just nice if they want to go into even more detail a lot of people like to look like they're doing something and they're like oh yeah it's very complicated and yes 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 i put that in there just so they can look at that if they want to most people don't really ever go past the first page this report also has a cover page and a contact page both of them look like this they are super simple to edit with all of your data so you can put your first name last name business name position whatever you want into all of this you can put your customer's logo you can put your logo doesn't really matter it's completely customizable for your account and it is in my opinion the best report i've seen for lead generation companies again it's super simple and i have yet to meet someone who's like oh i really don't like this report it's too simple <laughs> it's too simple and too easy to read so i really do like this report it took a long time to build but it was definitely worth it in my opinion i think it looks awesome and i think anyone using this uh can look very professional doing so and again it'll save you so much time it's easy to read it's quick it integrates and you don't have to constantly update which is really nice so those are my two big suggestions either use swidu or looker studio you don't have to get a report you can find one up there and edit your own completely fine it's up to you but looker studio i think is the better option of those two provided you go in and change a few of those settings or get our template it's up to you now i do have one big favor to ask at the end of this video and i'm sure you guys can guess what it is if you can leave a like i would really appreciate it i put a whole bunch of effort and time into these videos so i do really appreciate any likes or comments on these pages and it really helps our channel grow so thank you in advance if you do choose to like this video now if you have any comments questions or concerns leave a comment down below i do my best to get back to every single comment there are a lot of them so if it takes a day or two to get back to you that's why. Uh, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.